Welcome back. We are now ready to begin Module 2, Budgeting Overview and Setup in the Project Analysis with Clarity Self-Paced Training Course. As we talked about in the introduction, the first set of modules after the introduction deal with the budgeting process in Clarity. So that's what we're getting into now. We have four, uh, including this one. Uh, so this is more of uh, an introductory nature module relative to financials in Clarity and budgeting in particular. And in this course, um, in this module, we have four learning objectives. Uh, the first lesson uh, deals with financial management and budgeting and clarity, so it's more of an overview and a concepts. So we need to understand, get a good understanding of those general concepts used in clarity for financial management surrounding what the project manager does, even though it's wider uh, area than what the project manager will actually do, if you have a better understanding of the whole environment of financials, although we won't go into all the details, but still if you have that overall understanding of the environment and the concepts, then you'll understand what you're doing with respect to, um, with respect to project budgeting in a much uh, fuller manner. So that's lesson one, and lesson two will bring it home to roost a little bit from the standpoint that we'll get into the components of the project, those being uh, the enablement of resources and projects themselves. And then in lesson three, we'll look at using the cost rate matrices, which is the, the kind of the heart of the financial management system in terms that um, it is the pricing mechanism. So again, you won't be setting up cost rate matrices as your responsibility as a project manager, but having an understanding of how they work will make it uh, better for you to uh, actually do your budgeting process. And then in the last uh, lesson, four, how it all works together. So there we'll do a run-through from the beginning to the end of a transaction, starting with a project and looking at an a, uh, assignment in the project and working it all the way through to the point of being in a budget. So that should be pretty interesting. In this uh, particular module, too, there are no exercises at this time. We're introductory in nature and concept, so there are no exercises in this module. Now, first, let's take a look at a very high uh, viewpoint of budgeting in Clarity. So what are we talking about in budgeting and Clarity? We covered this uh, in the first course, the Using Project and Resource Management with Clarity course, but let's just either take a quick review just for context or if you haven't gone through that course so you're in the uh, understanding of what we're talking about here. So uh, what I want to do is to just take a look at first the two kinds of budgeting that we're talking about. And really the course is on the second one. Uh, so the first level of budgeting is called simple budgeting. And when you're in a project and in the project properties, main sub tab uh, and there are some sub pages down on the left side and we went through these in detail in that first course and one of those pages is sub pages is the budget and if we use that we're into what would be termed simple budgeting where we're able to put in a budget number a plan period for the budget uh, a plan benefit a plan period for the benefit and then we can let the system, by checking here, we can let the system calculate things like the return on investment and the break-even points and that sort of thing. So that's a very simple way of doing budgeting. If we don't have the details yet, that's a good way to do it. And it is also read into the system in terms of uh, if you were doing portfolio management, portfolio management would pick up on these budget numbers. So that is from a very simplistic standpoint. Uh, and then the other way, and I'll go back to um, the overview and to my project list where I have the projects I want to work with. And here I want to use this project here where I've already done a budget. So here we're back to Project Properties Main. And uh, now what we're going to be dealing with, though, where we're aiming towards is this ta tab in the project called Financial Plan. And so here, I'll click on that, and I have already created two project plans. 
and um, they're both separate. One is the plan of record, so this is the current plan. I'm going to go into this uh, first one listed here, the one that's a revision, and just show you what the end product looks like that we're working to. And uh, here is, it basically turns out to be a spreadsheet, and uh, I'm going to change the view that we're looking at this from a flat view to a self view, and what that does, then it better organizes it by capital and expense. And we'll talk more about that later. So now I'm seeing all the capital costs and then the expense costs in the budget. We're seeing from the beginning of the year here, so we're not seeing any costs because this project picks up later. So if I scroll over, we'll see that's where the costs begin to, to take place. So uh, that is where we're heading to. And um, so... With that, we'll, we're going to go into this whole context now, and um, so you understand the whole environment. So now, from a very high-level standpoint, and sort of background information to give you that appreciation for this whole financial management process, uh, when the financial management module was implemented in Clarity, they would have gone through your project, uh, uh, project management office, uh, and perhaps your um, IT financial uh, organization and others would go through this design process to get the financial management system configured properly for the way that your company needs to use it. So to begin that, they would have gone through some requirements uh, gathering and so that it can be designed to those requirements. One of the key ones, and you'll be working with this too, is the SOP 98.1 which is the uh, capitalization of software. If you're an IT organization, that becomes very important. And so you, will, as a project manager, will be paying attention to this, as we'll see later on, when we get into uh, setting the, the uh, uh, expense and capital uh, configurations within a project. There'd be another of, of other considerations also. For example, I list here like budget rules. Well, how should the budget be displayed? And you'll be impacted by that when we get to the actual budgeting process. There's a couple of ways uh, to...